Hello beautiful blockchain people, that's me again at CryptoSpine, this is my next cryptocurrency market overview. So let's start, let's have a look at the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see, the market has recorded a decent or inter mid size let's say, intraday price rebound. So it seems that the prices of the major cryptocurrencies are trying to stabilize after this price decline. And I want to say that this week we started with Bitcoin, then I analyzed Ethereum. Today, let's have a look at a cryptocurrency that is outside of top 10. So I want to say that I would like to analyze Litecoin because it's also interesting cryptocurrency when we analyze Bitcoin. Let's analyze also Litecoin that used to be a really very popular cryptocurrency back in 2016 and 2017. That's why let's have a look at the price chart of Litecoin today. So this is the monthly time frame here. The price is $138.24. To be honest, I think that to some extent we are really very familiar with the price chart of Litecoin in the major time frames because I think that probably two times a month, probably two times a month, we analyze the price chart of Litecoin. Of course, it's not that often, but for the major trend, I think it's almost enough. And let me remind you that earlier last year, we had a solid price increase followed by a correction in May. Here, we had a bearish engulfing. And we're really very familiar with this bearish engulfing. After that, we had a decline and then a gravestone dodge or dragonfly. Uh, I, I don't remember exactly which dodge this is called. Probably this, that was a dragonfly dodge. And I want to say that uh, at the, it formed a bottom, the price rebounded and now we had a shooting star. It's a common trend reversal uh, candlestick formation that usually occurs at the top of a solid price increase. And then in the monthly chart for the previous month here or in December, we have another solid bearish candlestick. And actually it's, it, it is a bearish engulfing because on top of this shooting star, that is a common trend reversal candlestick, a bearish candlestick formed. So this confirms to some extent the continuation of the bearish pressure. However, in the other time frames, we will see that the price chart is a little bit tricky and it's uh, premature probably to say that this is the beginning of a bear market because we will see some really very interesting uh, technical patterns that we're really very familiar with. Also, this candlestick, the current one for the month of uh, January, may change. It may turn out that at the level of the previous bottom, another bottom will form. Of course, the bulls have to be really very cautious because this is still a small bearish candlestick that has a local high below the previous ones and a local low below the previous ones. So the bearish pressure continues, but it doesn't mean that it will continue. And let me tell you why. And that's why I reminded you at the very beginning this bearish engulfing. First of all, this bearish engulfing, when we used to analyze it in the previous months, I highlighted many times. Yes, it has a local high, let's say, at the level of the local high from 2017, from the previous, let's say, bull uh, market hype. And here I want to say that I highlighted that this bearish candlestick, Yes, it covered the body of the bullish one, but it also has a local high above that one. And as I used to say every time before and now, this means that the bulls probably one day they will remember, hey, we were stronger than the bears in this bearish month. We were able to push the price further up. They will, it, they will try to resume this uptrend probably again and to reach these levels. Because it's not 2017 when in the subsequent months when we had this bearish pressure and candlestick, each and every local high was below the previous ones. 
So this is a different situation here. And I think we've been talking about it many, many times. So we're to some extent really very familiar. I just wanted to rebound, to, not to rebound, to remind you. And uh, that's why I want to say that this bearish pressure, this shooting star and this bearish candlestick covering the body of the shooting star are a little bit tricky bearish signals. Now, let's check the weekly chart. Okay, this is the weekly chart. Uh, First of all, yes, let me remind you that we can this, let's say, ascending channel or uptrend, the price dropped below the, ascend, the lower line of the ascending channel or uptrend. And uh, I want to say that uh, after the exit from this ascending channel, there was a small consolidation and now we have another dip. Uh, this dip, uh, I would like to show that if we switch to a linear chart, so this is the weekly chart and this is, uh, let's say, one of the most important time frames I will uh, in detail try to analyze because I will remind you about really one very important um, technical pattern here. So this is the linear chart. Let's say that this is the local low, the previous one, that one. Here, we had a consolidation at the level of that local low. And now the price is testing this local low, this local low here. So probably these two local lows, somehow they will support the price. Because we have two local lows of a previous ascending channel. So I think that we're in a territory where a lot of support may appear or pop up. But it doesn't mean that now I have to try to catch this falling high if, if I'm a trader. Of course, I want to mention if you are doing this fiat cost averaging strategy, so you put a small amount of fiat money on a regular basis uh, and the same amount, let's say, on a monthly basis, these fluctuations, uh, they don't have, uh, they are not that important. But if you are a trader, investor, some kind uh, of investor applying another uh, approach, this technical analysis is important, at least in my view, at least for me it's important. So, uh, we have two uh, bottoms here, so the price may receive support. Now, let's get back to the candlestick chart. Okay, this is this bottom, this is this bottom. But, I prefer to see some bullish signal in order to enter the market. For now, I will just monitor the market. I keep in mind that we have two bottoms here, and the price may receive support, but on top of this, the most important thing is, let me once again remind you, this is the upper part or range of the so-called double bottom that formed during the bear market. So this double bottom, oops, let me change it a little bit. So this is the double bottom, the left bottom and the right bottom. And this is the key line. So. We've been talking about it many, many times. I just want to remind you that this double bottom is a common trend reversal signal. And actually, it formed during the bear market 2018, in the second half, of course, of 2018, 2019, 2020, and so on. The price exited, whoops, the price exited this double bottom. We are really very familiar with this. Then it dropped and started to test the upper line of this double bottom here. So this was the first time the price received support and tried to resume the uptrend. However, something strange happened in the market and the price dropped again and now it's testing again this area. What I wanna say is, as I used to say here, uh, according to the technical analysis theory, if from the double bottom, the price exits and creates a new local high and actually it is almost in our case not just a new local high here but a new all-time high compared to this one it is probably at the same level but this is really very high level i want to say so that was a local high not like this one close to the upper line of the double bottom so now i want to say that if something uh let's say uh if nothing bad happens to Litecoin ecosystem and uh, the cryptocurrency market in general start to progress and we see some, let's say, trend uh, improvement here or bullish, if the bullish sentiment returns, probably 
this will be exactly the right moment when we will see another second attempt like here to resume the uptrend. If it will be the final attempt and after that we will see definitely an uptrend renewal or this is just one of those attempts, we will see. But what I want to mention is I think that if everything is okay with Litecoin, in the next couple of years we will see a continuation of this price increase as I used to say before and this double bottom and this piece of the chart will be relatively small one day in many many 5-10 years when we see relatively high prices and then I am pretty sure that many technical analysts and chartists will get back to this formation and they will put it in the books and and they will show people how this double bottom works and it's a common trend uh, reversal pattern. So this is what I expect to see in a couple of years from now or let's say. But also I want to remind you this will be a, let's say appropriate thinking only if the price doesn't drop below this critical line and starts another let's say uh, descending uh, trend or bearish market and so on. So if we drop again into the territory of the double bottom, this will be a bearish signal. Of course, we can see at the very beginning some fake, let's say, signals, but a bullish signal will appear if during the next rebound, the price surpasses the last local high. So in our case, this is the last local high. So let me show it to you. So if the price surpasses this local high, then a bullish signal will appear and I'm pretty sure based on this double bottom, many conservative investors and uh, conservative traders and investors will start to enter the market if this happens. So this is the last local high because here during this rebound, we were not able to uh, uh, surpass that local high. So during the other wave, if an ascending channel forms and we see levels higher than this one. This will be, uh, let's say, a confirmation of the uptrend renewal and many people will enter the market. Of course, I will remi uh, remind you if it happens, but if the price drops and we don't have this increase and the price gets back into the bearish territory of the double bottom, definitely nobody of those investors and conservative traders will enter the market. So. This is what I wanted to talk in detail about the weekly chart. Now let me just show you what's going on in the other charts. Uh, I mean in the other time frames. Because I think that this was the key, let's say, technical pattern. Okay, so this is the weekly chart. Now let's get to the daily chart. This is the daily chart. We have three moving averages. Let me add step by step each one of them. So this is the 30 day moving average or for the period of one month. Uh, we see that it is declining for now. I want to say that in November, when the price dropped below the 30 day moving average, I said, in my view, this is a small bearish signal indicating that in the short run, we are experiencing some bearish pressure. I am moving away from the market. I will stay away. So I just want to reiterate once again that as long as we are below the 30 day moving average or the one month moving average, I will stay away. Of course, if it surpasses the one uh, month moving average, then I will start to change my point of view from, let's say, bearish or correction uh, from being in a correction to trying to resume the uptrend. But this will be not enough because if we add the 90 day moving average or the three month moving average, this is the three month moving average. I will also like to say, I would like to see not the, uh, the price not only above the 30 day moving average, but the three month moving average as well. So we will have, I would like to see it above all these two moving averages. Moreover, I would like to see a bullish moving average crossover. Here we have a bearish moving average crossover. So this means that the price has dropped. So the 30 day moving average has dropped below the 90 day moving average. And now I would like to see the opposite crossover like here, for example, or like here. So let me show you what happened in 2020, uh, 2019 or 2020 here. 
the fast moving average was able to surpass the slower one or the 30 day moving average surpass the 90 day moving average so the one month moving average surpassed the three month moving average so this is a bullish signal and it continued till the beginning of the summer based on these two moving averages of course we were able to spot the right moment to exit the market here when the price dropped below the 30 day moving carry so this was the initial signal but what i want to say is now in order to say that we have an uptrend renewal that is reliable and it is the right moment to uh, try to find some good buy opportunities and to uh, do some good long trades is only if I see the price below this two moving uh, above this two moving average and and we have to see the opposite bullish moving average crossover but let's add on also the one year moving average unfortunately we are even below the one year moving average since this uh, uh, since the middle of December that's why on top of all what I've just said we need to see the price above the one year moving average as well so i would like to see first the price of litecoin above the 30 day moving average that is above the 90 day moving average or the one year the one month moving average should be above the three month moving average and at the bottom we have to see the green line or the one year moving average then i will enter the market okay so this is an approach that i've been applying for a long time and i have uh, explained it many times in all of my video analysis no matter which cryptocurrency we analyze so i think we're really familiar with this i just wanted to remind you here what's going on so this is the daily chart now let me hide these moving averages and i want to say that if we check the four hour chart there is nothing special here i don't see any technical pattern clear technical pattern such as let's say descending channel or a wedge or flag nothing yes we may try to find some let's say resistance lines here but they are not that clear the only thing i use now of uh, the only thing i use now the four hour chart for is to spot better here the former let's say ascending channel so let's say this is something like the uh, uh, former uptrend also i use the linear chart in the four hour time frame or the one hour time frame in order to see where these bottoms without the volatility are so this is this bottom this is the next bottom so actually we don't have something really very special at the moment but i just use these levels for example this one and this one so as i mentioned we have two bottoms here probably the price will receive enough support now here plus if we get back to the weekly chart this is the top line of the double bottom so that's it fellas this is the top line of the double bottom so let's see this is this line and this is the left bottom this is the right bottom so that's it I hope that uh, this will be a valid technical pattern that will sooner or later resume the uptrend but we still don't have any confirmation it just what I want to see in the price chart let's cross our fingers for Litecoin that's it fellas thanks for watching this video please share your point of view as a comment below of course I wish you a very wonderful day good luck in the financial markets and I hope to see you in the next one it was me again at Crypto Spot.